begin recording. Here's your Alabama WX weather briefing video for the Sunday morning. It's March the 10th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and uh, cooler is the weather word, uh, at least across Alabama this morning and again tomorrow, possibility of frost. Um, let's get started. I hope you've, uh, well, of course, all of our clocks now set themselves, but if you have any of those manual clocks lying around, time to uh, advance them one hour if you haven't already done so, because daylight saving time starts this morning started about 2 a.m. local time. Here's the uh, national picture uh, across the United States, the upper pattern, uh, 500 millibar height anomaly showing uh, low pressure there over the Great Lakes. It's been causing lots of grief in New England. We'll continue to do that today, that trough uh, back into the southeastern United States, bringing us some cooler air, ridging there over the middle of the United States, and another system. Uh, coming on shore in the Pacific Northwest that will bring uh, another round of uh, snows to the Cascades and to the uh, Sierras going out in time um, through the week ahead. Um, you can see another uh, short wave moving through the south there uh, Monday night into Tuesday, but you can see it was weakening as it went, uh, crossing across the ridge, another trough uh, heading our way. Uh, by Thursday, but it kind of dampens out too. And then finally, the next system drops into the four corners, very deep upper low, and uh, that system will be coming uh, eastward uh, into the weekend. So we'll deal with um, uh, some showers and thunderstorms by late Thursday night, early Friday morning, uh, Friday and then an unsettled pattern uh, continuing into the weekend. These are lows this morning. Uh, across the region, uh, 30s, uh, middle and upper 30s in North Alabama, Tennessee Valley. Uh, so 30s over about the northern half of the state, uh, 40s over the southern half. Uh, fortunately, the wind's staying up, uh, preventing us from uh, uh, getting into uh, a good bit of frost. This is uh, forecasted temperatures off the National Digital Forecast um, database this morning, um, showing uh, upper 50s. Uh, middle 50s across the uh, northeastern third of Alabama. The rest of us will be in the 60s this afternoon with a good supply of sunshine. Uh, no complaints at all. Uh, but uh, morning lows uh, tomorrow morning or, to, or you know, later tonight are going to be in the uh, 31 to 33 range in the Tennessee Valley, uh, 34 to 38 across central Alabama. So frost um, will definitely be... Uh, a possibility. We'll use the GFS as a zero Z run from 6 p.m. tonight, uh, showing us uh, what's going to happen over the next uh, 384 hours. Uh, you can see high pressure staying over Alabama today, moving into tonight, means that we'll be uh, dry and cool. Monday, um, still dry. Uh, some morning cloudiness may move across, but increasing sunshine during the day. Uh, afternoon high temperature readings in the lower 60s north to middle 60s uh, to the south. Uh, Monday night lows a little bit warmer, 37 uh, on average. That's going to put us to about you know 33, 34 in North Alabama, with some um, you know upper 30s across the central part of the state. South Central Alabama probably in the lower 40s. Now as uh, we move into Tuesday, mostly sunny and mild conditions. We'll see. Uh, High temperatures uh, ranging back up into the middle and upper 60s with some uh, folks in uh, South Central Alabama pop topping out in the 70s uh, on Tuesday, at least in the lower 70s. Uh, then Tuesday night will be milder with a low near 43. We'll see increasing clouds um, during the day, slightly warmer, low 70s uh, on average. You can see uh, that big subtropical ridge to the east beginning to pump in some moisture. So as we go through the day, I think it'll hold the showers at bay uh, for us here in Alabama. But those showers are going to try to um, uh, fire up on Thursday afternoon over the Arklatex. Uh, some chance that we'll see some severe weather uh, to the west of Alabama. Uh, not as pronounced on this model run, but certainly some marginal severe capabilities uh, developing there, uh, eastern Texas, southwestern Arkansas, northern Louisiana. That activity pushes into north Alabama Thursday night, uh, early Friday morning. You can see um, this would be um, you know around 3 a.m. 
uh, Friday morning showers and thunderstorms moving into the state. Uh, I've sampled some of the uh, these model outputs, and the soundings don't uh, indicate that we'll have anything in the way of severe weather here in Alabama, but it looks like another round of uh, moderate heavy rain uh, for the northern part of the state, uh, kind of pushing into central and south central Alabama Friday, Friday night. Um, we'll be you know, in the in the 70s after being uh, in the upper 70s on Thursday, probably lower 70s on Friday. But you can see we're kind of in an unsettled uns, uh, un, uh, pattern, that big subtropical ridge to the east kind of keeping the system from uh, getting on through, and uh, another round of rain uh, coming into the state Saturday night and Sunday. And it uh, looks like maybe even another round um, late Sunday night into early Monday, and then a much colder uh, blast of air coming in from the uh, west. But uh, with that big trough uh, just to our northwest, we'll probably stay in a showery, unsettled condition through Monday night. Some snows into the mountains of eastern Tennessee, Kentucky, maybe uh, the Smokies there in eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina. Uh, but, um, you know, don't, a little too early to tell if that'll really uh, materialize. Some showers, snow showers actually making their way into Alabama on that run. So uh, don't go get the milk and bread just yet, uh, but um, at least uh, that'll be something interesting uh, to look at as we go through time. End of the period, end of the two-week period, got a storm system forming there in the Caribbean and the uh, Bahamas moving on out to the uh, northeast, and uh, looks like uh, it could be a problem uh, for the Carolinas. This is, um, this is the uh, instability uh, at... Wednesday night at 6 p.m. showing a good bit of instability to our west. Um, that really fires up on Thursday afternoon, but I don't know. That, that air mass looked pretty capped. Uh, so it may be a situation where we see some supercell development in eastern Texas. We'll kind of keep an eye on that. And that instability kind of works its way into Alabama, but uh, it's mainly over the southern half of the state, and it does not look like it will be a big substantial problem for us. This is a you know, kind of what the radar would look like 7 p.m. Thursday night. And um, you just see no activity there in eastern Texas. It might be uh, in western Arkansas, southeastern Oklahoma. You see those storms move into Alabama, kind of uh, stall out before moving out um, Friday afternoon. These temperatures off the national blend of models will be in the uh, middle and upper 50s today, uh, lower middle 60s uh, on Monday, well, approaching 70 on Tuesday, 73 on Wednesday, the average high, 77 for Thursday. Then uh, we kind of fall back off for Friday and Saturday, but then turn a little bit colder. Nothing there that screams snow for sure, but uh, high temperatures uh, around 60, overnight lows in the upper 30s to low 40s. So still uh, a little bit of a chance of frost. We'll just um, have to keep an eye on that for sure. Uh, weather brings a weekly netcast that's all about weather. We'll entertain Dr. Harold Brooks uh, on our Monday night show. We record it at 7 p.m. live. You can watch it on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash weatherbrains. And, of course, you can get it wherever you get your podcasts uh, because most people listen to the audio version. Uh, it'll drop uh, late Monday night. Uh, we're going to be talking about German meteorologist Hans Ertl. And uh, Dr. Brooks is always an interesting uh, man about town in the uh, meteorology uh, profession and circles. And we'll have a lot of fun talking to him. We'll let you weather video for this Sunday, March the 10th. I'll have notes on the blog, a complete update on the forecast coming up for you at noon. And uh, we'll keep an eye on your Sunday weather and uh, watch what's coming uh, late in the week in the form of uh, some unsettled weather, how much rain we'll get. Um, that'll be the uh, topic we'll be working on today in the forecast lab. Well, until I get to see you next Sunday, as I always tell you, have a great week and keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.